Hey guys, uh, Jay here, day two. Um, I just got done with uh, yoga at this place called Hot Box in Hayward, um, from San Francisco in the Bay Area. Uh, it was a great, great yoga session. Uh, like I said earlier in my other videos, I suffer from acute sciatic nerve pain on the right side of my back and the yoga teacher started off today, you know, asking everyone if they had any injuries or pains in their bodies. And I told her about my sciatica. And she said that in one pose, it can correct that sciatica, which made me like, you know, light up. I was like, all right, which one is it? Cause I'm gonna do it every single day, right? So, you know, we went through the, the yoga, uh, session today and she says that the pigeon pose is the best pose for sciatica so it opens up the sciatic nerve and uh, you know releases the tension and sure enough it, it did you know I, the pigeon pose I put my right leg all the way up bending down um, on my thigh and you just it's called the, you can do a sleeping pigeon or a regular pigeon and you're all the way down on your your, your, your your lunge pose, like all the way down to the floor. So um, I did the sleeping pigeon and I just focused on my breath and little by little I could feel the stretch going into more and more and like she said, the nerve kind of like loosening up the tension. It was, it was awesome, it was awesome. Um, also, she said that uh, the forward fold uh, when you're always coming down to the forward fold, it's not good for sciatica because it actually pinches that nerve. So there's a variation that she told me to do, which was to bend the knees when I'm coming down to a forward fold and twisting to the left or to the right, which totally makes a difference. Just, just, just twisting a little bit to the right, to the left, and bending your knees when you're folding down, oh, you really don't feel the back part you know, pinching or whatnot. So that was awesome. Uh, this yoga wasn't like a power vinyasa or, you know, any like a power class. It's actually a, it was called a gentle class or like a restorative class. So I highly recommend going to one of these classes if you have that, this type of pain. Um, so it was great. Uh, it wasn't heated, you know, it was super normal. Uh, the last Shavasana pose, we had this, big um, you know pillow in the back and we did, I did a variation on, on the last pose with a lot of support oh, I just wanted to stay there forever because it felt so good so um, drank my green drink this morning uh, same recipe as yesterday chia seeds with some spinach almond milk and water and I drank about you know half a gallon of water already did my inner bath before I did all that uh, didn't have breakfast yet so got back home late last night so I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and I didn't journal last night because I got home late again so uh, I was pretty tired I wanted to just sleep so I'm gonna go back home eat some breakfast journal for my day one and then continue on my day two and uh, it's about noon right now so um, stay tuned day two green drink half a gallon of water and yoga down I will continue this tonight what's up guys I'm over here at Great America with the wife and kids enjoying the Sun at boomerang Bay and uh, pack some fruits and peanuts for my meal it's very hard and tempting to eat the funnel cakes and hot dogs and soda and all that stuff, but nope, holding strong. Water and fruits, strawberries, blueberries, and roasted peanuts. So I will check in back with you guys uh, later on tonight for dinner and uh, close out my day two vlog. Peace from Great America. What's going on guys? Uh, it is very late right now. I think it's midnight. Sorry for the late posting of uh, day two, but had a family outing uh, with the wife and daughter. 
at Great America. So, had fun out there. Uh, tough though, man. Tough trying to not eat the the Great America food. You know, all the hot dogs and candy and popcorn and all that stuff. But uh, we made it through. Came back home and ate some uh, chicken with bok choy and some chicken and asparagus, Chinese food. So we did that and got my journaling done uh, for both days. And nothing much else to report. Weight's still the same. Um, sciatic, sciatic nerve feels pretty good. Uh, I think I think I'm a incorporate that pigeon move like every single day like maybe like once a day before i wake up like when i wake up or something like that you know just to keep it consistent because really feels good on, on my sciatic nerve so um but yeah i mean other than that everything's all good you know green drink down gallon of water down no cards for today journal today and um yoga today earlier today so uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow all right peace